as we welcome Cherie Show. A little bit. Um, 
I got to where I get jumping off stage and jumping down into the audience. And I like to keep people on the edge of their seats. The biggest thing about a show is um, I ever heard Carrie Underwood say one time that she wanted people to feel like they were coming back to see a movie. And um, as a new artist, in order to get people to listen to your music and really listen to it, not just hear it, you got to give them something that interests them. So I like to keep people on the edge of their seats. I'll constantly be throwing stuff around or I'll throw my water bottle across the stage. And it, it keeps people's attention because they want to know what you're going to do next. It is show business. It isn't is. It? So... You grew up listening to country music, and your mom played it on the stereo and stuff. Who were you influenced by? Um, crazy part about it is, it was Brian Adams. I love Brian Adams. Canadian, Brian yeah. Adams. Summer of 69, yep. all of that. Really? Yep. Now, what, what drew you to Brian Adams besides like that weird voice? I around. love that rock sound. Yeah. Like, it was just, no matter what song it was, it just had that palm muting and that like, real distorted guitar, and I loved it. So where did you get to the countryside of um, a little rock I was going to be a rock singer, but I didn't have a high enough voice. Yeah. <laughs> that was the problem. Um, I like to tell everybody that uh, when I first started singing, I had a real high-pitched voice, and my mom told me I sounded horrible. <laughs> well, thanks, Mom. <laughs> I know, right? That's she's great. like, I can't wait till you grow into your voice. So I tell everybody I hit puberty because my voice dropped, and that's when it got good, I guess. And it, it, I have to, by the way, Cherie's album is Here We Go Again. If you want to find it, and she's got a stack of them over here for some. Oh, we got a stack of the trailers, so don't be worried that we'll run out. You got boxes and boxes. I got to ask you about this microphone stand here. Okay. Tell me about it. Um, well, we wanted to do something different, and uh, I'm all about being unique and no stuff. Yeah, it's covers coming in. Sorry about that. I, uh... I'll take our first caller now. Okay, stand by. Okay, so tell me about the mic stand again. I apologize. Uh, no, you're good. It's just that I want to do something different. And uh, I like, I used to actually paint all my mic stands in pink glitter. And You are a show girl, aren't you, man? Show business. You can tell when I'm on stage because all the cords are taped down with pink duct tape. <laughs> you can tell it's my stage. I love it. Um, but yeah, we want to do something different. So we uh, actually, my fiance made a chain link mic stand. He made that. He made this guy it. right over here. It's actually his very first chain. He used to flip over trucks like if they overturned. Here's an uh, idea. Here's an idea for you. You know what you guys should do? Chain of fools. But I'm just saying. I just, you know, give the artist this stuff. What are you going to sing for us now? Um, I'm actually going to do a song I wrote. Um, I get asked the question a lot of times in my morning person or night person. All my songs get written between the hours of midnight and 4 a.m. Holy cow. When do you sleep? During the day. I guess. You're like a bat. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, What's it called? Burning up the moonlight. Ladies and gentlemen, Sheree White.
home with you. But uh, other than that, thank you so much for sitting around and listening to my music. This is my whole world, so it means a lot. Thank you guys. God bless you.